Hey guys, Madass Gamers here, and in this video we're going to talk about some of the features that are new in iOS 4.2 which Apple released yesterday. And I'm also going to show you some secret features that you might not already know of. Uh, so just like all usual uh, Apple updates, uh, they come with security, uh, bug, and speed improvements. Um, I have noticed with the iPod 4th generation since updating, the speed has increased quite a bit, which is quite impressive. Um, but like I said, it also comes with the uh, bug and security improvements and all that, like for App Store and stuff like that. All right, so I'm going to start off with the minor features, then get into the bigger features. So the first feature I want to talk about is the volume slider now in the multitasking bar. So if you go to the multitasking bar by double tapping the home button, you slide to the left, you got the uh, music there. You slide one more, now you've got a volume slider here, and you can adjust that. We're just moving the slider there. Not a main feature, but something that can come in handy at some point. Alright, the next thing, some of you might not have noticed, but the font in Notepad has changed. So go ahead and open it up. I'll just make a new document. So as you can see, the font is a bit different. I'm not too sure what it's called, but it's changed, and I like it, I like it better than the other one. So it looks pretty cool. Another thing is that the voice memos icon has changed. So voice memos we got there on the uh, right is now sort of a bluey color with a white microphone in the middle. So now if we go to the YouTube application on your device, you'll notice it has been given a bit of an update. So now this, uh, so it now supports the uh, thumbs up and thumbs down, the like and dislike, as you can see there. As you can see there, 79% of people like that video, 82% uh, like that video, and so on. So they've in, added a few improvements into the YouTube application. They've also added some FaceTime improvements, which um, lets you initiate calls from the voice control feature. Um, and it also supports uh, Bluetooth accessories for when doing a FaceTime call. Now another thing is uh, Find My Device. This was a feature in Mobile Me, and basically I've made it free now to the iPad, iPhone 4, and iPod Touch 4th generation. So basically what it is, if you lose your iPhone, or iPod or iPad, whatever device, you simply enable it on your iPod so that whenever you do lose it, you simply log on to Mobile Me in your computer, and um, it'll show exactly where your iPod is on a map, and it can let you um, uh, wirelessly lock your iPod, put a passcode on it, uh, sound an alarm so anyone nearby can hear it and then pick it up and then see you can put a message so it says uh, please return my iPod to uh, so and so and a number and whatever. But it's really cool, um, gives you an accurate place of where your device is so it's pretty cool so you should check that out, it will come in handy maybe. Alright, so the two main features that Apple have added in the iOS 4.2 update is AirPrint and AirPlay. Basically, if you have an, a compatible AirPrint printer, basically if you go into Safari, you can print uh, pages wirelessly to your printer. So down here where we got that little icon there, simply just click on that. Now we have the usual add bookmarks, but now we have down the bottom print. So simply just click on print, it takes you to this page. Unfortunately, guys, I don't have an AirPrint uh, compatible printer, so I can't show you this. Basically, you just go select printer, your printer will come up here. Uh, then number of copies, one, two, three, four, five, whatever, and simply just click print. But unfortunately, I can't show that. So it lets you print any web page from Safari. Now, another thing is AirPlay. Now, if you have compatible speakers or you have an Apple TV, you can wirelessly stream music and videos to your Apple TV or uh, AirPlay compatible speaker. So it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I can't show you that again because I don't have an Apple TV or uh, AirPlay compatible speakers. But two really good uh, new features in iOS 4.2, so that's AirPrint and AirPlay. Alright guys, that's basically it. Just letting you know all the new features in iOS 4.2, which came out a couple of days ago. Remember, this update works for the iPhone 3G, 3GS, and iPhone 4, iPod Touch 2G, 3G, 4G, and of course the iPad. Now, this uh, update was mainly for the iPad, where it brought multitasking, folders, Game Center, and a couple of other stuff to the iPad. But um, they also added these new features uh, to the iPhone and iPod Touch, although it was, like I said, mainly for the iPad. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment. I hope this helped. If you found out any more new features, uh, be sure to leave a comment and let everyone else know. Um, but if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. Peace.